Got your markers? Good morning. We're so happy that you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, we hope that you will return tomorrow. It is Bluey Day and we are very excited. We usually wait a bit for screen time to begin. Uh oh, tummy time. It's taking a turn. Hold on. Wow, thank you. But we might make an exception today. For season three of Bluey. We are just gonna do it. Get ready, Jamesy. Twenty-five episodes. Bluey gets her own room. Is it the best day ever? <laughs> I mean, yeah, but I have to go to meetings. So we decided that. We watched all the other episodes of Bluey just like in passing. We just had it on and it loops. They're eight minute episodes. It's the best. And it's gonna be really hard to not just like sit and watch every episode. But we're just gonna have it on like we did the first time. But when we started watching it the first time, we weren't as obsessed as we were, as we are now. Mm, just gonna have some crackers. <laughs> Um, and if you were not aware, Bluey is an Australian cartoon TV show about a family, and they just do fun and very normal, relatable stuff, but it's so charming, it's so wonderful, um, and we've fallen in love with it. So if you haven't heard about it, Google it. <laughs> oh, goodness. What's going on over there? <laughs> Teddy's been doing that like shy smile all morning. Hi. Hi. He like puts his head to the side and smiles so sweetly. Jamesy has also figured out my legs are free whenever I hold Teddy or nurse Teddy. And so I bop around while I hold this guy. So everybody's happy. Go, Teddy, go. Tommy Time Pro. <laughs> what are you doing? Okay, I understand this is another selfie by me this morning in my pajamas. Not, we haven't really, haven't really moved much. Still watching Bluey. Hold on. Yes. Okay, we got a little distracted. Side note. Teddy's almost too tall for this already. I had to buy new swaddles because he was too tall for his other ones. He's growing like crazy. What I was going to say is I am suspicious because all of our favorite people are going to be here in the fall. Andrew McMahon is having his Dear Jack Foundation fundraiser in Chicago in November. Jonathan Van Ness is going to be here in November and I have meet and greet tickets for him. And now Phil Rosenthal is gonna be here in October for like a book Chicago, just like fun event where you can meet him. I'm like, those are three of my like very favorite people. Like not even just like, oh, I'd like to see them. Oh, I'd like to go to their event. Like people that my like, core people who have like formed my personality like I spend most of my time watching listening consuming I'm suspicious how we are on our walk and this looks like fall to me it's way sunnier than I expected it to be it's actually very nice out today 
Um, Jamesy is out. He fell asleep within like 10 minutes and he was so excited to come on the walk. And I like, I'm starting to feel bad. Like when is he gonna realize that like, this is his nap time? I don't know, like the walk and stuff, like he could actually be enjoying it and looking forward to it. Just the restfulness and the, the I don't know, the scenery just going outside. So as much as I do feel like I'm tricking him, it is enjoyable. So there's that, but he's just like, when I like put my shoes on and I like start to go towards the stroller, he like put his toys down, sat, stood right up, came over like he knows it's, he's looking forward to it. So, um, but we're headed back now and I might just watch some more Bluey while he naps. Oh, no, thank you. <laughs> you silly kid. James woke up from his nap. We're playing in the kitchen. Know this? James, should we go to Joel and just get a pizza? Well, what's going on with Eve? Is she broken? She needs a tire replacement. I'm vlogging over here. We're back at James's favorite place to get some dinner supplies for tonight and tomorrow. What's that face? There's an apple. Candle burning. And all of the Halloween stuff that's up in Magic Kingdom, we're not there to see it. So I got apple cider. Ooh. Watch Hocus Pocus tonight. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> got a couple of things. What you got? What you got? <laughs> also, this was Sarah's No Spend August commentary. Caramel coconut. It was a deal, so I got no muskies. Food is life. Food is life. Can we pay the bill? <laughs> wow, you're really cute. <laughs> What's going on over here? <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the pizza we're having for dinner. James, he's, I think, I think he's freaked out because we have him in a different chair. He looks like an actual big kid. And his own plate. Cow blue on it. <laughs> yep. Mm. Okay, so if you watched yesterday's vlog, you know that we are excited about the fact that Andrew McMahon is having his Dear Jack Foundation benefit concert in Chicago this year because we get to see Constantine. Well, we've been learning that he's been playing Constantine almost every single night of this tour with Dashboard Confessional. And that tour is not going into Chicago. They were at Lollapalooza. I think the curse continues with Dashboard because that is just torturous. And I even like, I looked up like we should just go to Cincinnati. When we heard that he had opened the tour with them playing Constantine, but then the next few shows, he didn't play it. So I was like, we should go. But then we're like, we're gonna go all the way to Cincinnati and risk it that he doesn't even play Constantine in No Spend August. But now he played it in Cincinnati and he's played it almost every night since. How do you feel? I'm like torn, like I we want him. Really? The concert's already happened. Yeah, we were originally looking, when we decided we weren't gonna go to the When We Were Young concerts in Las Vegas. <laughs> um, Cause Dashboard's gonna be there too. We saw that he was gonna be with Andrew in Indianapolis and we said we were gonna go to that concert, but then we didn't. James is very excited about something else. Philly. Philly's Baltimore. Indianapolis is only three hours. We could have done it. We didn't even have to stay the night. Baltimore. But I'm like, I want Andrew to play it, but I like the mystique of it. I like that he doesn't play it. 
because then if you play it, it's really special. We'll go to Atlanta. But I know it's still really special. If we go to Atlanta, we have to go to Orlando. Peter has the perfect frown. We missed all the closed shows. We'll see it in November. These are Southwest points to fly to Connecticut. Tonight. Sarah and James have been roughhousing like crazy, running around the whole apartment throwing this ball all <laughs> over the place. James is, James is having so much fun. Out of the blue, he, he took a big gulp of water, started running around. <laughs> And then just threw up the water. <laughs> Don't chase Eve with the ball. She hates it. <laughs> oh. Check it out. When was the last time you remember Peter Burkhart going on a post 10 o'clock run? These used to be my absolute bread and butter back in the day, you know, in the winter park days. Look at that. Still a beautiful skyline, even at night, sitting on a beautiful lake. We even got some boats out still. Might be hard to see on the cell phone, but we got boats out, clear sky. Actually, I can see a little fog. Or humidity in the air, but <sighs> beautiful night. Beautiful, beautiful night. Just going for a quick 5k tonight, my friends. Just <laughs> what I could call a quick 5k. We have stuck to our word. We are watching Hocus Pocus. Peter's folding some laundry. I'm wow. editing the vlog. Evie. <laughs> <laughs> she has something to tell us, but we can't figure it out. <laughs> Evers! One, how was your run? It's good. Two, what did you think of season three of Blue? No, no, no. Two is I booked a haircut. Again, to hang myself. I need a hair growth. My hair is still not at the length in which I thought it was going to be when I got my hair cut. It's a joke we do. <laughs> Supposed to be it's supposed here. Supposed to be here, but instead it was like here. It's still, it's growing. So it'll I'm girl, just constantly it'll be like, rocking these tiny hairs it'll in the be back. Like a random, like it'll be like 11:45 in the morning, and I'll look at him and be like, rude. Um, yeah, rude. Sunday morning, James and I'll get a haircut. And Evie's getting one on the next Thursday. Um, Bluey. Bluey. I have not digested fully season three yet. We have watched it, I think, three times through. Yeah. I wouldn't say I've I feel like saw. I've seen the same ones, and so my favorite at the moment is Chest. I think the actual episode is called Chest. Yeah, because Louie calls, Louis it, calls chest. it Chest instead of Chess. Um, I forgot what mine's called, but it's the one with the face painting that Bandit oh, ends yeah. up going on a six week trip. Yeah. And Bingo misses him. Yeah, I forget what it was called, too. It's a sweet one. Yeah, we like sweet. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>